What you doing good, doggies? All right, guys, what's going on? It's Oregon Motorcycle bringing you another awesome episode. Um, today, we're talking about my BMW again and my busted ass Vanos bolts. <laughs> so this is um, out of control, in my opinion. And I think this is a major BMW design flaw. I don't know why in hell that you would use aluminum bolts to secure a camshaft with all this power and everything going through it. So just to give you guys an idea what's going on, um, you see these bolts right here, okay? There's four bolts, there's two more down there. You know, if I turn this, you'd see it. This is the intake side. These bolts are aluminum. They're t supposed to be tamper-proof. I have the socket for them, but it's supposed to be tamper-proof. Well, over here on the exhaust side, it's hard to see, but if you can see down in there, three of the four bolts on the exhaust side have sheared off, and this one's actually backed out. So you can see down in there how it's backed out. So what we're doing in today's video is uh, I've got my special cam lock tool here, which is pretty awesome. So I got this on uh, Amazon. I'll post a link down below in the description. You guys can use my Amazon links because they're affiliate links. And I get a little bonus when you guys use the Amazon affiliate link. So try to use those. Even if you don't want to buy the products, just um, open the link and then go search what you want to search for. And you guys will help the channel without even, you know, paying anything out of pocket. So it's just by using the, my Amazon links to buy whatever you want. So anyways, what this is going to do is it's going to lock the cams. I got to find top dead center first, uh, but just been turning it over uh, last night or the day before, uh, just to get a visual inspection of these bolts. So I'm going to turn it over, get it to top dead center, and then we're going to lock the camshafts right here with this tool. And then we're going to take these bolts out and then we're going to take these Vanos units out right here like this. Okay. And I'm going to extract the sheared bolts from here. And I'm going to take the bolts out on these side, on this side. And I have brand new bolts coming from BMW. They'll be in tomorrow, which is just in, in your guys' reality. It's only going to be in a couple minutes. So, um, <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, I'm not going to film everything doing this. This is just a story, guys. My story of my headache with my BMW and this is showing you the symptoms. If you guys haven't seen the other video, check it up here. I'll post it up here. It shows you the symptoms and what to look for for this problem. Now, the good news is guys, this is spectacular news. I caught this before it went too far. And what happens a lot of the times is people keep driving with the check engine light on and a little bit of rattle and loss of power. And what happens is these bolts back further out and then they come around and they hit these housings here and they shear off. Then what happens is the head of the bolts drop down here, which goes directly down to the oil pan. So after you get done doing this repair, you have to go below and drop the oil pan to retrieve the nuts. It's a major, major deal. So um, I got very lucky and I don't have anything that has dropped down below. So all I gotta do is pull these, replace the bolts. That's gonna be my method. That's what I'm gonna go for because these units aftermarket are 400 a piece. So that would be $800 just for those two units. And I don't have that kind of money to spend on this. So I spent $5 on new revised BMW bolts that are gonna be steel. If they're not steel, <laughs> I'm going to Home Depot and getting them. They are uh, M7 by 21. So it's just a basic uh, bolt. They do have a little bit of a, uh, smaller head, but a grinder will make them smaller if I have to go the Home Depot route. But uh, there you guys go. So yeah, I'm just going to get this over to Top Dead Center and play with my new tool and show you guys what's up. I'll check in a little bit later. Don't get demonetized. demonetized. Well, it automatically goes off. All right, guys. Um, when I turn the video camera on, it does. Here are the new revised bolts. I told you, you see, that was super fast, huh? So it literally took minutes to get them. So there they are. And I got the Vanos actuators out and I got my special tool that has the cams locked and there are the actuators so I'm going to take these out so it turns out none of the bolts were sheared they were just uh, three of them were backed out one of them are in there this was the worst of them so I got really super lucky here guys I caught this before it went really bad like maybe a couple more days of driving to work and I'm thinking that those bolts would have backed out more eventually sheared off and then made their way down to the oil pan, which would require way more work than what I'm already doing. So um, just replacing the bolts, 
I'm not replacing the whole actuators. These are uh, $400 a piece, which would be $800 for both of them. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just gonna do the bolts and I'm probably gonna put a little dab of Loctite on them. Just to be on the safe side, I can't find any torque specs, so I'm just gonna get them tight. And then I'm gonna try to put this thing back together. I'm gonna put it back together, but whew, scary. All right, guys, I got it all back together. Um, this is not really a tutorial video on how to do this. I don't really want to be telling people how to do this procedure. There's lots of videos online. You guys can do your research. The basis, uh, the, the, the idea behind this video is to let you guys know how you can fix this, what to look for, what symptoms to look for. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I got very, very, very lucky because I diagnosed this problem as soon as it happened. Um, what I feel happens is a lot of people, uh, don't really realize what's going on. They get a check engine light. They continue to drive the car until they can get around to a mechanic or whatever and so on and so on. What happens is these bolts will rattle out, um, and they'll shear the heads off the Vanos units. And I replaced all eight bolts on both units. Uh, there's four each on each uh, unit with the steel bolts, torqued them down as tight as I could get them. And I put everything back together, kept keeping my fingers crossed. And uh, this motor fired right up. We're gonna start it up right now, you guys, and I'm gonna show you this motor is a cold start. It's been sitting overnight. Um, put approximately 20, 25 miles on it with a couple cycles last night, no check engine lights, no nothing. And honestly, I've never seen this engine uh, run this smooth. So I'm kind of just looking in here from driving it last night. We revved it up a little bit. I got some, it's like some oil spots here or something. I'm not hundred percent sure. So I'll have to inspect everything and make sure, but yeah, this motor's never ran this smooth. So let's fire it up and I'll show you guys. back to normal purring if you guys wanted to see what it sounded like before just click the link up here and watch the other video it's gonna be up here but um, yeah my baby is back in action it's awesome I'm so stoked so it sounds really good and it's idling really smooth and it's pulling really good it's got some good power so there you go I need to get some gas in it and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm proud to have my car put back together. Um, next order of business is going to be uh, the transmission. I'm gonna get that service probably next month. Um, that's gonna be some more money. <laughs> and then maybe this summer I get my oil pan um, gasket replaced because I think I did see that leaking, but I'm not 100% sure. I need to clean the engine down below and see because um, it might be some of the valve cover gasket that was leaking. My valve cover gasket was was horrible so it needed it was well past being replaced um so we'll see on all that stuff but um yeah guys if you guys have any questions or comments about this post them down in the comments below and um yeah this was a crazy deal i'm way more educated in this now so um i'm happy happy camper and so was my bmw so until next time folks oregon motorcycle